I'm Kanta Shiraishi, a 25-year-old freelance engineer. Thanks to you, the administrative work at our hospital has become much more efficient. That's great to hear. Many of our doctors and nurses aren't very familiar with machines. If there's any problems, I'll take care of it right away, so feel free to consult me anytime. Looking forward to your next request. It was tough at the beginning, but over the years, trust and reputation have grown, and now the requests are pouring in. It's all work, but I've never felt burdened. Every day feels fulfilling. Ugh. Her yawning is even beautiful. Lately, I've been captivated by a woman I often see on the train. She has pure white skin, big round eyes, silky smooth hair that looks like it could just melt away, and slender limbs. We live in completely different worlds, being a beauty like her. Huh? Uh, oh no, I made eye contact with her. I've been staring at her way too much. My face and height are average, so the only thing I can appeal to the opposite sex with is my ability to work. Or to put it more bluntly, my financial stability. That's why in a situation like this, there's no way I can make a move. I could only admire her from afar. However, one day, I ended up exchanging words with her for the first time. And it happened in the worst way possible. <sighs> Being seated next to her? But... She looks unsteady. Her complexion seems off. Maybe she's feeling unwell. Uh. The train jolted violently, causing her hand to slip from the strap. She started to fall backward. I caught her and supported her body. Are you okay? Oh! Hmm? My hand was enveloped by a soft sensation. It goes without saying that it's that thing every man around the world loves. A, B, C, D, E. Hmm, maybe E. She's got quite the talent. <laughs> oh! Oh, this is, uh, I was just trying to help you, and then uh, accidentally, or rather, I, I, I don't know what to call it. Ah! Her scream echoed throughout the train. The passengers around restrained my arms and legs and handed me over to their station staff. The trust and reputation I've built up through my work will likely crumble today. And it feels like my life is over in this moment. Or so I thought. <laughs> She's laughing so much, like a mischievous kid. Did you help me? Well, sorta. Hmm, I see. Are you okay? You, come to the station office! Quick, call the police! I found my soulmate. Huh? We just met, but... What's going on here? I heard there was a groper, so I came! Uh, do you guys know each other? You said you just met earlier! Well... Uh... Well, I did know her, but she didn't know me. What's really going on here? She looked at me as if she was judging me, then she took my hand and smiled at me coyly. Station attendant, this person isn't the groper. I got startled and screamed, but this person helped me when I was about to fall. Is that so? So, no one will hold him responsible. Actually, I should thank him. Right. What's your name? I'm Kanta Shiraishi. I'm now Shinomiya. 
Lately, I've been sleep deprived and crowded trains have been tough. Kanta, I want to thank you. So let's leave the station and go somewhere. Huh? Station attendant, thank you for your hard work. I still can't grasp what's happening. There's too much information, so even though I finally got to talk to the girl I fell for at first sight, I just couldn't feel excited at all. This is a shadow brand, huh? Please eat a lot. It's my way of thanking you for supporting me like a prince when I was about to collapse. Well, I didn't really do anything praiseworthy. I did help you, but I accidentally touched your chest. So it's like a zero-sum game, or rather, it's negative. Please, don't embarrass me. You're not going to eat my Chateaubriand? She's saying it with a kind of threatening tone. But if she looks at me like that... All right, I'll dig in. <laughs> huh? You ate that, huh? Super fancy yakiniku. You not only grabbed my chest, but also treated me to high-end yakiniku. You're gonna have to take some serious responsibility for that. What do you mean? Let's not rush to conclusions. Let's just enjoy the meal for now. We'll talk about it later. Okay. It seems like this was all a trap. I had a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you're good to go. Your outfit and hairstyle are totally fine. You can tell me about your job, honestly. You seem pretty capable. Hey, are you really going to... It's not like you have to do it, but you'd end up being pervert. Sure, I'll do it. I'll give it my best shot. She asked me to act as her boyfriend. Her family is super wealthy. Her dad's a CEO of a big company. And her mom's a chairperson of a hospital board. I found out she lied about having a boyfriend to avoid arranged dates, but her dad insisted she bring one. Uh, am I not be enough for this? I mean, I run my own business and make decent money, but I can't compete financially with some big shot heir to a corporation. Yeah, true. Uh, do you know anyone rich? I'm not into rich people, so I don't really have close friends who are loaded. I don't have many friends, regardless of whether they're rich or not. She just casually dropped that bomb. If we show off our lovey-dovey side, maybe we can pull it off. We definitely won't, no way. When I used to watch her from afar, I thought she was cooler, but she's actually quite talkative and not at all like a typical rich girl. I'm being coerced into playing her boyfriend, but honestly, the situation is kind of a reward for me. I mean, I get to pretend to be the boyfriend of the woman I have feelings for. But because she's the one I'm acting with, I feel like I'm being crushed by pressure. Oh, so you're a self-employed engineer, huh? Yeah, he's pretty amazing. He's the same age as me and independent without relying on his parents' influence. So I think I can make it work with him. No way! Why? Your marriage isn't such a simple matter. You should be marrying the son of Rokotora Trading, after all. We're so lovey-dovey. Wow, her soft chest is touching. He doesn't have any family connections or anything, but he's the kindest and most righteous person I know. In the end, it's not about someone's background. He helped me when I almost collapsed on the train. That was our first encounter. He helped you? Yeah, at that time. Sorry to interrupt, but I also wanted to meet her boyfriend. Nice to meet you, um. Huh? Chiriasi? Dr. Shinomiya? Wait, you guys know each other? Yeah, 
He was in charge of improving the system at Shimon Mia Hospital a while back. So he's a client? You should support this. Come on, even you're saying that. Can we trust our daughter to some unknown engineer or programmer? Honestly, I just want her to be with someone she loves. If it's him, I'll support him. Yay, mom approves of us. Hey, hold on, don't relax just yet. Kanta, your face is way too tense. Relax, relax. You're too optimistic. Huh? She laughs like this sometimes. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. All right, I'll stop meddling in your affairs for now. Yes, thanks. You understand, Shiraishi, right? Sure thing. I'll never do anything to embarrass anyone. I'll make sure my actions do this family proud. But most importantly... Most importantly, I'll make her absolutely happy. Huh? I put on a passionate performance as her boyfriend. Anyway, I'm glad my dad approves of us. Now I don't have to marry some wimpy rich kid. <laughs> Thanks. And man, your acting was amazing. <laughs> Maybe I can become an actor. I was happy with the acting too. It was the first time someone of my age said something like that to me in my life. She said that with a somewhat lonely tone. But uh, what are we gonna do from here? Yeah, well, you'll have to keep playing the boyfriend for a while. Sure thing. Huh? You seem pretty pumped up. Well, I was feeling a bit guilty about the whole blackmailish thing, but I guess there's no need to dwell on it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well then, see you later, Kanta. Later! Getting involved with her? It felt like life was fun again outside of work for the first time in a while. Buying that much? Girls are creatures who enjoy fashion. What kind of women's clothing do you like? Hmm, I like simple stuff. I see. Then I'll stop buying these after all. Huh? It's fun to wear what you like, but right now I want to match my boyfriend's tights. Got it. After that, the girl and I started exchanging messages frequently and went on dates once or twice a week. For her, it's probably to increase the credibility of our relationship. I'm just playing the role of a boyfriend, but being in a role feels a bit lonely. Drink bars are fun, right? Is a family restaurant okay? A family restaurant is perfect. Even though it's supposed to be just a meal with boys our age, we ended up at those long tables like for important meetings, having to mind our table manners. Being an heiress is tough too, huh? It's tough, but that's why I'm glad I met you. Huh? <laughs> it's nothing. My feelings for her grew stronger day by day, but I remain just a boyfriend role. Today I want to go somewhere. Where to? To an amusement park. I want to ride a roller coaster. My parents didn't let me ride one even when I went as a family because they're worried. Well, wasn't there any other time you could have ridden it? And girls like me, with my personality, don't make friends easily. Why would you ask such a harsh question? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Your troubled face is cute. She probably doesn't have friends because she's got that kind of personality. Hey! Isn't that Shinamir over there? Huh? Ugh. Who's that? 
Someone my dad was trying to set me up with. Oh, I see. Hey there. I heard from your father that our arranged meeting got cancelled suddenly. Any idea why? Um, well... It's because I'm her boyfriend? Huh? I'm not from a noble family like yours, and I'm not as refined or accomplished as you. But I care about her more than anyone else in the world. I hope you don't find it uncomfortable, but it would mean a lot to us if you could accept our friendship. All right, let's go. Yeah. yeah. You're not gonna fall, so you're good. You're really good at acting, you know that? I was wondering if what you said earlier was true. Actually, it is. Huh? I fell for you at first sight on the train. Is that so? Whoa, I had no idea. Was that all acting? Nah, nah, everything I'm saying now is for real. Even what I said earlier. Our meeting was like that, but I really like you. If you're okay with it, uh, could you be my boyfriend instead of just acting as one? Sorry. Yeah, I guess someone like me is probably not what you're looking for, huh? It's not like that. You had feelings for me, and I ended up using it to convince my parents. At first, I just wanted to wrap things up neatly after playing the boyfriend role. But I've actually fallen for you, too. Huh? I was the one who started it. But I want to stop acting and be real partners. Now... My dad is stubborn as they come, and my mom can be a bit tough, too. Plus, there might be a little complications because of our backgrounds, but if you're okay with all that, then... Ah. I couldn't say it till the end. Yeah. You two really got on that dangerous thing? You're such a warrior, you know. Probably from now on, we'll have busy days like riding a roller coaster. I made a promise in my heart. No matter how fast we descend, I won't let go of her hand. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video! If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time! Bye-bye!